So, the New York Knicks surprised the whole NBA by getting at least getting to the second round of the 2023 NBA playoffs. Unfortunately, they ran against they ran up against Hemi Butler and the Miami Heat, who got to the NBA Finals. But it's a step in the right direction for the New York Knicks. But there's one problem to this team. Two words. His name is Julius Randle. Now, I will explain in this video why the New York Knicks need to get rid of Julius Randle and who they need to pick up in order them to advance to at least the Eastern Conference Finals. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We'll be back again with another video. Yes, Julius Randle played almost 82 games this year. Yes, Julius Randle was a bucket in the regular season. Yes, Julius Randle, he's, he's, he's him. Or is he? See, yes, availability is the biggest key, the biggest factor for Julius Randle. He's been really showing up and showing out, especially in the regular season. But when we get to the postseason, his emotions started getting over him in this game. His sensitivity started getting this game. His I don't care attitude starts to get in this way in the postseason. See, the problem with Julius Randle is obviously Stephen A what Stephen A be saying. He's going left. He don't know how to use his right hand that much. Or his opposite side of his body when he's trying to post up against the defender or or face up against his defender what he loves to do instead of posting up and banging down there and getting the rebound or putting putting the getting the layup and dunking on somebody he want to face up and step back and shoot threes but that's the, that's this new generation of centers and big men but see he'll be more effective doing that if he learns how to go right more everybody knows he's going left so with his inconsistencies in the playoffs what does he do he starts to blame the fans he didn't really blame his teammates but he didn't want to show up in press conferences he didn't want to talk to the media. He didn't want to celebrate with his team when they winning because he's having a bad game and said he wants to pout on the bench. Dog, it's not winning mentality, man. Nobody's going to want you if you're doing that stuff, especially in the Mecca, in New York. Listen, I believe you are holding this New York this team back for what? can be a uh, um, Cinderella run for them because of this dude named Jalen Brunson who just giving them buckets. Josh Hart just playing out of his mind, playing with his heart. RJ Barrow who's another inconsistent player, but he's still putting the work. I believe he's going to improve this offseason. And some of y'all bitch players. You know, you still got many quickly, which is an automatic, underrated bucket. Y'all got some pieces on this team. Quentin Grimes. You know, like these. Y'all got some pieces, right? The problem is, it's Julius Randle. That's your problem. Not only he's inconsistent, but. It seems like he don't really care. And I might be wrong. I believe he does. He probably does care. But he pouts too much when he's having a bad game. Instead of instead of you know, sticking up his team and celebrating when they win, despite him having a bad game, actually going and talking to the media and learning how to use your right hand. Learning how to be more apodestrious 
if that's the word, if I'm saying the word right, I'm probably not. Y'all probably gonna kill me in the comments about that. But if Julius, if you keep, if you come back with the same mentality you have, if you come back with the same game you have, it's gonna work in a regular season. When we get to the playoffs again, it's not gonna work. They gonna figure that out. So the Knicks, it's your only option to trade Julius Randle away. It's a player y'all need to get. Carl Anthony Towns. I said it. Literally, just package Julius Randle and some picks for Carl Anthony Towns. That will solve a lot of problems. Now, Carl Anthony Towns is a bit is another issue, but Carl Anthony Towns is a bucket. He's one of the best centers in the league. Now he's not the. I, I definitely disagree with Pat Bev Tom. He's the best center in the league. Stop it. Stop it, Pat Bev. That's just that's about a pity. This is a special pity what he's talking about on his podcast. And, and talking about he changed the game. How you change the game, Cat? Name one reason you changed the game. What, your three-point shot? No. I seen Big Man before you shooting threes like that. Hello, Boogie. Hello, Anthony Davis. Hello, Dirk Nowinski. You change the game, stop it. But I will say, you are one of the best centers in the league. You are. You just need to be on a better team. And you do need to show up in the playoffs better. Now, you did better this season. You did a little better, even though you went against Jokic. That's the best center in the league. I mean, obviously, one of the best players in the league. You you, you had a better postseason. I mean, it was short, but. I believe you would thrive in New York. I really do. Because it's going to be more spacey on the court. More spacey for you to operate with Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, R.J. Barrett running the show, Josh Hart. It's going to be more spacing. And you're probably going to be the man. You're probably going to be the man in New York. So, New York, this is your opportunity to capitalize and try to make this happen. New York Knicks fans. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. This, I, I, if I am, let me know what, what else can they do. Because I know y'all don't want Julius Randle. Y'all don't. Y'all can let me know if y'all do. Just, just comment that below if y'all do. I, I just believe, like, Julius Randle, you're, you're a really good player. You are. You're an all-star. Cool. You'll be great on a different team. I don't think this the Knicks. The Knicks, I, think, I believe you're holding them back a little bit. That's my opinion, okay? And I believe getting cat would change a little a little bit of things. Not a lot, but a, a little bit of things. That's my take, y'all. You know, comment like I said, comment down below what y'all think. Comment down below if I'm right. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Comment down below for more. Comment share videos like this. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give your boy a like. Let this have this channel grow to where I need at least 400 subscribers. I've been pushing there. I appreciate y'all for all the support. It's been your boy Will. I'll catch y'all in the next video.